All right, good morning, everyone. It's Friday, November, oh, November, oh my God, thank God it's <laughs> Friday, June 5th. I don't know where November came from. Listen, we're just trying to get this year over with at this point. Yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> you know, that's a sign. I'm gonna let you go ahead and uh, start off the discussion this morning. It's our Friday morning coffee talk. Um, and we're so excited. We've got a visitor today. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's good to be are here. We're so excited to have Gina from Maze Motion Therapeutic Writing Center with us today. Um, this is a I couldn't hear of anything you just said, Amy. Oh. <laughs> good, because of course my phone's ringing. <laughs> My phone in my house never ever rings. Of course my phone's ringing in my house. All right. Hopefully that's not too loud. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have Gina with us today. She is from Mains and Motions Therapeutic Writing Center. Um, and this is part of the Hospital for Special Care Community. So without further ado, um, Gina, I'm going to let you take it away so you can talk about your program and what you have to offer for our veterans. Well, thank you so much. Um, we're, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to share today because um, um, we are very dedicated to serving, you know, not just adults and children with uh, maybe a physical or developmental, uh, but really um, feel strongly about serving our veterans. And we have had and have been serving veterans for the last, uh, I would say, at least five years. And we have a number of different programs available. Uh, currently for our summer session, um, we do have, it looks like, at least, at least five spots available that we would be able to support area veterans for a seven-week session. So that's pretty exciting for us. Now, this particular program, it might be, um, so we, at Mains and Motions, we offer um, some different options for services. We have our therapeutic riding, which is lovely, um, but we also offer a very um, nice curriculum for what we call unmounted learning or groundwork with horses. Um, we believe in a natural horsemanship model, which means the relationship uh, that we build with a horse is very important, and horses often reflect those relationships that we have with people, and so it provides a format to be able to work with and develop relationship school, uh, skills um, and or just um, have an opportunity to de-stress. Um, Horses are very mindful creatures. They live in the moment. They're not thinking about yesterday. They're not worried about tomorrow. Everything that's happening with them is happening right here and now. And so it provides us with that opportunity to join them in that place. Um, and then how we work with horses, they respond primarily to nonverbal body language. Well, gosh, so do people. <laughs> So again, it offers that opportunity to learn more about that, um, that body language and how we can have soft communication with other creatures, whether it's two or four legged, and um, in a positive way that supports not only our needs, but the needs of others. Um, I'll come up for air every once in a while, so you can ask me some specific questions, okay? Great. Um, so, so mm -hmm. I was just going to ask, where is your program located? Physically? Thank you. So, some, some basics on um, the program. We are located at 874 Millbrook Road in Middletown. It's not far off of Route 9, so it's pretty easy to access. Um, we, um, it, this used to be a dairy farm, so we leased this, the barn area and an additional 15 acres for the program. And it's really such a quiet, um, peaceful place. 
that we're able to uh, conduct our services. Um, Maze of Motions is a nonprofit. We rely on uh, the generosity of others. Um, we also have a very strong volunteer program. Some of our veterans have transitioned from going um, to participating in programs to assisting as volunteers, so that's encouraged as well. Um, trying to think what else. Our instructors are uh, certified in therapeutic riding uh, and or what we call equine assisted um, uh, mental health and learning. So, um, and again, supported by trained volunteers. So lots of great support. It's a quiet environment and a supportive environment. That's wonderful. Yeah, we typically serve um, around 100 individuals a week. Again, children, adults, groups, veterans, um, school groups, um, you know, lots of uh, different individuals. And what I really, I think what we really work to do is to look at the needs of the individual or the group and then design a program that supports those goals. So uh, lots of opportunity. Now, if someone's interested in signing up, how do they go about doing that? Yes, so um, they can reach out directly to me. Uh, the number is 860-685-0008. Extension one, and I could take them through the process, which isn't very complicated, but there is some paperwork. Um, typically, the format of um, our sessions is uh, let's say we run a seven week summer session, then um, individuals would come or a group would come once a week, the same day and time each week for however many weeks is in that session. Um, yes. Okay. And then what we'll do is after our Zoom call, um, right on in the comments, um, once the uh, recording is posted, we'll post uh, your direct contact information. Yeah. Yes, and um, just a couple other things. Of course, I like to talk about the horses because they're the stars of the show. And um, we have, uh, currently we have 11 therapy uh, horses in our herd. And these are horses that are specific, uh, selected specifically because of their good nature, their level of training, and the safe interactions that they um, can provide to people. Um, folks can also look up more about Maine's Emotions on the Hospital for Special Care website. Um, we are located under the Sports and Recreation Program tab. Um, and there's a separate page for Maine's Emotions. But again, oops, again, the best way to um, get more information is just call me directly. Okay. Gina, what's the cost? If we have veterans that are interested, usually the first question is, what costs are involved and is it covered by any type of insurance? Yeah, so currently insurance is not covering um, the cost for equine assisted activities. However, as I mentioned, we do have some funding, veterans funding, um, that we were um, awarded through our professional organization uh, PATH. And yeah. so uh, that, that would serve a number of individuals this summer. And then we typically do some specific fundraising um, every year to go towards a veteran scholarship fund. So I'm pleased to say to date, um, including I should say local foundations, um, to date we have not uh, charged a fee for service for our veterans. We've um, been able to support them. We hope to continue to do that through the future. That's wonderful. Thank you for doing that. And please make well, sure again, whenever you're having those fundraisers, let us know so that we can share that great work you're doing. Oh, thank you. I would be very happy to do that. And of course, anyone that would like to make a donation to our Veterans Fund can do that directly. Send that to the Hospital for Special Care and just put in a note that you want it to go specifically to our Veterans Program. 
and um, so that support can be provided. Um, but it's really heartwarming to see the relationships that folks um, develop between the horses, between staff and other volunteers, and just the opportunity to come out in a quiet, supportive environment and have um, everybody needs a happy place. Um, and hopefully that's what we're able to provide. Yeah, one other question, Gina, with um, all this quarantine and COVID-19, are you operational right now or what's your anticipated well, start update? Yeah, thank you. That's it. Those are excellent questions because it has been a very unique year. Mm -hmm. So um, we follow not only the hospital's guidelines, um, but also the state has issued guidelines for equestrian programs and outdoor recreational activities. Okay. So um, like for, for example, at this time when our, we just started running some sessions again and folks come in and we have a um, we do a temperature check with just a thermometer uh, forehead scan um, and we ask people to use a hand sanitizer and folks right now are wearing face masks. On June 15th, before the summer session starts, we'll be getting new guidelines from the state on what we can uh, look at moving forward. For example, maybe they have loosened the restriction on the number of people or no longer require face masks. So those are some of the things that we'll be looking at on June 15th. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think, you know, one of the things that is always at the forefront for us is um, regardless of what's happening with COVID is um, safety comes first. Um, so um, that's always something that's uh, the priority and uh, I always say safe and fun, just keep it safe and fun and, and it's, it's all good. Excellent. So you, you mentioned also that you have um, volunteer opportunities. So even if we have veterans or people in the community that just might want to come and volunteer, do you have a need for volunteers right now? Um, that piece will slowly again after the 15th, which really is only a couple of weeks away. Um, that piece will be slowly growing again. So I would say, yes, we always are in the need of additional volunteer support. Um, so again, folks can contact me directly and I would be happy to walk them through the process. I could see someone's calling in. So hopefully you were able to hear me. Oh yeah, no. You were fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, great questions, everyone. I appreciate it. Anything else? You caught Amy mid sip. <laughs> no, sorry. I thought I was on mute and um, I took a sip of my coffee and it was all somehow um, like brown. So I was gagging over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is why I need a full cup when we start versus I drink half my cup so that that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, thank I you understand. so much for joining us. This is such an amazing program to be available to people. Um, I know um, I'm actually going to share this with um, a couple of my friends because I know my um, one of my friends, his her son um, used to do a lot of riding with um a center and i don't know if they're up and running yet and he really really misses it so it might be an opportunity um, for him to connect and use your facility absolutely i mean aside you know from veterans if you know someone that might uh, benefit from our services um please just um encourage them to give a call um yeah, there's, um, <clears throat> I was just thinking about some of the veterans that we've had come through. And um, for some of the groups, you know, I've done some specialty programs uh, that um, we've had groups of veterans out here. And in the time that we're, they're here for, let's say, six weeks, um, I do a pre and a post questionnaire, um, just brief one, to ask them some key questions about 
you know, what type of value spending time with the horses brings. And I would say um, almost every, I'm going to say 90% of the veterans that come through not only indicate on a weekly basis that they are less stressed um, at the end of a session, um, but physically they also feel better. So um, yeah, I would, I would just really encourage people. And I know sometimes it's hard to do something new or try something new or go to a new place. Um, but even if you wanted to take a ride out here, um, we could meet just privately. I could show you the facility and you could, you know, someone could get a sense of what their comfort level is. Okay. Excellent. Thank good. you so much. Of course. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, I do hope to hear from some folks and um, I wish everyone well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we'll definitely put your contact information up today so that uh, hopefully people will be calling soon. Very good. Uh, my email, I'll just in closing, my email is uh, J Polino, my last name, P E L L I N O, the at sign HFSC.org. Okay. All right, everyone. Have a great day. You, you too. too. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Thanks. You bye -bye. too. Bye bye. Wow. So our first guest. That was nice. That was awesome. Yes. Um, I was hoping we get a, little, a couple of people to join because I went live mm -hmm. on um, the Facebook page this morning to remind people okay. that we had a guest. But no luck. We get fit, we get looks afterwards too. So oh yeah. So and I think to everyone for who's been watching it, um, do we waffle our winner next? Because we had. What we had Talkative oh. Tuesday. They were very talkative. Oh, I didn't set it up, but I can, or we could do it on Monday afternoon. Yeah, we can do it Monday. We'll do it Monday, because I did not set it up. No problem. Um, so I will get, I will definitely get her information out. I know um, a couple non-veterans who use therapeutic writing services and have really benefited from it. So it's a, it's a very useful program. I know at one point I looked at it for my son, um, and I'll be honest, I just never followed through um, because, you know, sports tends to be his thing. And I was more, even though they kept telling me not to worry, I was worried that he's so ping pongy all over the place that he wouldn't be good for the horses. And they kept telling me, no, like we're used to kids like him. It's actually good. And I, yeah. I just was so fearful that he's going to freak a horse out and a horse is going to unintentionally hurt him because he's so loud and spastic and he can't, he can't help it. Like he stands next to you and he screams constantly. And I know horses don't like it. And I'm like, like we constantly have to tell him we're standing next to you. You don't have to talk that loud. Um, so it's always, it, it makes me nervous to have it. Like horses are the only animal that makes me nervous with him. Because, because like they're so big and powerful and you're afraid mm -hmm. of them and and loud noises scare them yeah and he's you, so loud you'd be amazed you know i i spent a uh, year or so working at a therapy center here in bristol and i am no by no means a horse person because of my allergies and so that in itself presented some challenges working there but um, seeing the kids that were coming in to utilize the therapy, they ran an entire spectrum uh, of mm. issues. So you'd know the minute they were pulling in the parking lot because you could hear them, but the minute they got out with the horse, their whole demeanor changed and it just, it was like a symbiotic relationship between them and the horse. It was yeah, really like watch. I really, I really should look more into it for him because I know um, there's a farm. I have to find out where the farm is again because he loved being 
I don't know if he would now because it was several years ago, but he really loved being on the farm and like he, they had chickens and stuff and roosters and, Mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of animals and you go around and you see them and it's funny because at that time, um, Maggie didn't like any animals, um, not just butterflies, but she didn't like any animals. She wouldn't, she wouldn't touch anything. Um, Um. wouldn't like she called the cow in they convinced her to call the cows in as soon as the cows came she ran and hid she didn't even have to touch them but she ran and hid but she she wouldn't pet anything um and cohen on the other hand you know cohen's talk literally having full-blown conversations with the chickens (laughs) he's not hurting anything we're not going to do anything next thing i do no it was winter when we went right next thing i know um he has the polish rooster which I just was intrigued that it's a Polish rooster versus a rooster. I'm like, whatever. So what's the difference between um, a Polish? Uh, um, I don't know. He co- they come from Poland. That's all I know. He un- has unzipped his jacket, put the rooster in his jacket. Okay. Um, the rooster is perching on him enough that he can zip his jacket up, and the rooster is inside his jacket. <gasps> and I am like, oh, my God, this thing's going to peck his eyes out. Because no bird is meant to be inside your jacket. And the lady says, and I'm like petrified now, right? And the farm owner's like, nope. That rooster doesn't like anybody. But if he lets you pick him up, they're friends for life. Aww. She's like, he is like an animal whisper. Like, she goes, I have no concerns. He is perfectly fine. And I was like, all right, well, they're wow. your animals, you know. And and the rooster snuggled right up to him and he goes, he was cold. And That's I was like, did he? T-? I'm like, are you Dr. Doolittle? Did he tell you? <laughs> and he's like, no, he had icicles on his feathers from drinking the water. Oh. Uh, he had all icicles down here. Yep, Cohen zipped him up in his jacket. This so he. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I, told, I told Jim about the turtle and then I said, um, I go, we can't take the poor turtle. Jim Ar- Cohen already called him fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Luke did that as he did a picture with the basketball as a comparison shot, as opposed to the little baby ones we found. Um, uh, yeah, our baby ninja turtles. The weekend, our baby ninja turtles. That, I think that's mom looking for her babies. I don't, we, I told you, we get turtles all well i know my sister said that i told my mom i told my sister that mom came back and she goes no that's not how it works yeah i and i don't know we woke up the next morning and all four baby ninjas were gone yeah well my sister when i told her how big the tank i wanted to put them in she's like do you understand how big those turtles will get she's like they grow to their environment they'll be huge (laughs) (laughs) I was like, oh my yeah, God. at least they can, they can defend themselves. I, I'm sorry, I keep getting text on the center phone and I'm just checking them. Okay. Um, so it's yeah. Wear Red Friday. I see you have your red on. I, I didn't do. have a red shirt, but I have my, um, here, I'll come closer, my red. What is that? That's super cool. It, um, oh, a friend a of mine, she's, it says red on it and she did the ribbon. A friend of mine who's a respiratory therapist, on Fridays, she has to wear a uniform where she works, so she can't wear red, so she made these pins up. That's great. So you can still, you know, maybe you don't have red or my red shirt was dirty, whatever, you can wear the pin. Oh, you know what? Light's going off in my head. So I have, I make the yellow ribbons for the, everyone who's deployed. Yeah. Um, and we give them to our salute, our salute recipients so that mm-hmm. the parents can wear them when their children are deployed. Um, and I make the red, white, and blue ribbons to give out to anyone who wants them. So maybe I should make red ribbons for Red Friday. Well, yeah, and ask if you want the, the actual pin too that says red on it, we can ask Jen where she got them. Oh my Lord. Timothy, sorry. Um, I did have a couple things that came up yesterday that I was, hmm, 
that I thought of. And I was like, oh, this is wonderful. Let me share. And of course. Oh. So this morning I was up really early and um, we talked. Were you up at 2 a.m.? Because I was wide awake. <laughs> uh, well, that was the first time I was awake, but then at like quarter after five, 20 after five, about when sunrise was. Yeah. Sun creeped in through the windows. I was wide awake. I'm going to go back. Oh, we didn't see any sun here. It's been completely raining. Um, but I talked the other day about Willie Pete's chocolate up in Harwington. Yes. <laughs> so um, I went we... online and ordered some more. Um, oh, that's so funny that you did that because my husband wants to try it. So oh. we have to, we, uh, yeah. he just was like, I really want to try this. He got very excited when I told him all about it. And um, so he was like, he asked if we could go to Tones this weekend to see what to they see had what for. Yeah, chocolate. I don't, I don't know if Tones is open to the, like, to go in. I went, oh. I, I do an online order with Tones. Oh, okay. But you can also order directly from Willie Pete's. Oh, okay. Let me add that he, to my. He custom makes the chocolates. So they're made to order. Oh, it takes. Right now, he's saying one to three weeks. Okay. So, but he does, you know, his little Scoville scale of heat index is there. I, I got like no heat to mild heat. I, oh, okay. So, order on the line. Um, but I found out he does retail. There's a couple of stores where he sells besides Tones. So someone might be closer to you. They're all, all over. Um, but I was thinking that after everyone gets back to a little more normalcy, um, if we want to see about selling them through the center. That'd be super cool. Mm. I know you have a new candy. We do. We do. Um, new candy store. So yeah. Um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely reach out to him. I, uh, we're excited. We are excited to announce, um, Maggie's half awake over here, so I won't make her come and do the announcement. <laughs> I got a side eye. Um, <laughs> we're excited to announce, uh, we're Nikki candy company, um, patent pending, uh, <laughs> because I screwed up my EIN application <laughs> as much as I can help people fill out their forms for benefits. I forgot to click the last button and it kicked me out of my application because I was printing the EIN paperwork yeah. and I didn't click the very last button. Yep. So now I'm in limbo. <laughs> so I have to call this morning and get it fixed. Um, That's why I, I hired an attorney to do the centers. <laughs> Oh, I got it. It looks like because it looks like it's supposed to be really simple because all I really need is a resale form yeah, form. That's all I need is because yeah. I'm not making any candy myself. I'm reselling right. um, candy club candy or if Willie Pete's since he has retail locations, I could yeah. retail location. Right. Um, so, yeah, it. Um, we 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 like the candy co company candy so much um because and we ordered chocolates um Ooh. we yeah we ordered um nice peanut butter bites chocolate cookie dough bites Ooh. yeah um but we got held up in the process of submitting our order last night because, because you don't have your yeah 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 so everything okay. kind of snowballed last night on us when yeah. we went to go launch everything um, um sure i should have known nothing in the real world that works as smoothly as it does in my head no it never does it never does um that's okay so it's friday so that was great hearing about mains now i should have asked her is it mains in motion or in motion i have it right here <laughs> it is let's see here's the signature mains and motion okay that's what i was writing on my notes because that's what i thought it was but i just wanted to make sure um yeah i am um i actually want to reach out to her because i the wheels were turning my neighbor works for tractor supply company okay um so 
the wheels were, you know me, I'm always about how do you fundraise? How do you sponsor? How, work smarter, how do you not network? Harder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, all I, about networking. I, I'm naturally networking. networking all the time. So I was thinking to her, have they partnered with their local Agway or tractor supply company to allow people to purchase food to donate to them for the horses? Oh, yeah, I know from from when I worked in Brist in at the farm in Bristol, um, they have big suppliers that they get oh, okay. from that kind of stuff. Um, usually, I didn't know if they could get um like corporate sponsors. Yeah, usually our, our the Agway trips were because someone didn't get the order in on time or misordered or you know. But I, I was more thinking you like get get tractor supply company to be their sponsor and provide all their food. oh yeah doesn't hurt to ask because i believe each one of those is a franchise i keep futzing i got a new shirt but i think it's a little too big for me so i keep futzing with it um what else did i i oh my gosh this morning i was like oh i really think we want to talk about this because i was so excited about it and of course of course now my brain is like not remembering what I wanted I'm to sure. talk about that I thought was so important. Is there something special happening this weekend? I don't so oh, I'm looking. Um lots of new oh was it job related? That's what I'm looking. Oh, okay. That's you. Maybe it was employment related. I think that might be it. Let me look real quick. Um, I'm just so looking at my notes too. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, I no, you know what? I know what it was. Bye. Um, did we talk about the change at the shelter? I know you and I talked I about it. But we didn't. We, I, don't, I don't think we got to give a shout out here and it's public knowledge. So we get to share the great news. No, because we didn't really we did an abbreviated show on Wednesday night, so. Yes, and we just found out. And those shows now, hi. Hi. We can sing and dance. No one wants to sing. No, nobody <laughs> wants that. Um, so we're super, super excited to um, share with everyone um, that Chris, who you may know from Agape House, is, <clears throat> excuse me, is now the executive director of the St. Vincent de Paul Shelter. Woohoo! Woohoo! So we're so excited for her. I'm excited. Um, I'm so proud to say I know the director at the, at the shelter. Um, it, that's such a great move for her. I think she's going to do wonderful things over there. Mm -hmm. For those that have been living under a rock or really not paying attention to local news. Um, the executive director, Phil Lisiak, who had been the executive director for years at St. Vincent de Paul, passed away on Valentine's Day this year. So they have been without a, they've had interim executive directors and the board step up and was taking care of things. Um, but this is great that they finally were able to pick a, a wonderful candidate and someone who does so much for the community already. I think she's going to do great things over there and I'm so happy and so proud of her. Yes, I'm, I'm, um, I'm so, so, so happy that um, she got picked and I really think it's um, a great opportunity, um, I think, to leverage both um, the benefits and resources of both locations um because i i know at agape house they do so much with resume building and trying to do job searches um i actually already reached out to her um to try to sit down with her because i had a couple ideas to throw out about you know setting up their amazon wish list of things that they need at the shelter so that they can arrive right at the shelter for someone yeah. to be able to take in um and like how how that works and how to keep that constantly running for them um, because I think there's a lot of people who would love to do stuff but 
just trying to get over there to the shelter and drop things off is, is just tough. Right. Um, so this would allow them to get things that they need a little bit more smoothly, as well as like with Agape House, there were a lot of people who wanted to donate stuff, but they just can't physically get there. Um, right. So with, with that kind of all running um, hand in hand to help her get those set up if she's interested. And then um, also making sure that when they're looking for jobs, yes, you can hand through the you know DOL and that's kind of hard, but also have them leverage what I put together and put out. You know, I just feel like the more people who access the list that I put together the, each week, the better because that's a lot of work. So I want as many people using that puppy as possible. Because <laughs> um, I've had to look. Oh woman who was sending Michelle when Michelle was sending them to me I could do it in one day but now that we're getting it from the other gentlemen I literally have to work on it every single day because yeah. he sends so many which is great that we're getting that many new opportunities so when you mentioned um they're doing Amazon for them it it made me realize I don't know that we've ever talked about the center and how Amazon is another way people can help support the center. Oh, through Amazon Smile? Through Amazon Smile. So Veterans Strong Community Center is an Amazon Smile partner. Um, and for those that don't know, I mean, everyone knows Amazon, but if you, instead of going to straight amazon.com, if you go to smile.amazon.com, it brings you into a different side of Amazon. It's all the same products. It's all the same pricing. It's just. Do you want me to show it? I well, I've got it up too. So I'm going to do a. Okay. I'll do a screen share. Um, yeah. It it brings you to well. This is I pull it up as a center, but this is um, it, it it's the same Amazon, and you can still purchase yep. your items. But Veterans Strong Community Center gets a small percentage every quarter, I think they distribute. Yep. And so up at the top um, of your screen, where in yellow it says supporting, yep. no, low, yeah. So that's where um, you put, you select, it'll, it'll ask you who yes. you want to support. And that's where you put Veterans Strong Community Center. Yeah. And, um, it'll let you pick your charity name. So yeah, if I didn't have it already in there, you could just pull it up and select that that's your, your charity. Um, it keeps track of what, how much donations. This is all, this is Everybody not- Everybody worldwide, right? This is worldwide. <laughs> that's crazy, um, that's wonderful. But, Part of it too is if you're thinking about, oh, what can I do to help? And you want to purchase items for the center, we have a, a running wish list, if you want to call it, of things for our food pantry, things that, um, especially in the winter, there are there's an individual that I work have worked specifically with he's been sick um so and this winter was so mild i don't think there was too much of a need but some of these items we would get and help him out because he would go out in to the encampments for the homeless and there was always a need for the the camping heaters and the little propane tanks and um warm long johns long johns yeah thank you but then just some things that we need for the, the center as a whole and our food pantry. We, we'll tweak, we tweak this as we need stuff. Um, so that's always another opportunity, not only moving through Amazon, but purchasing items from our Amazon wish list. That's wonderful. Um, and then we also have a flip give um, set up. Oh, yeah. Let me go. Do you have it open? I can. Let me see. I don't know if I have it on this computer, flip give. Yep, 
I got it right here. You got it. All right. So I'll get out of mine and you can go ahead and share. Oh, it says you've disabled it for me. I've disabled it. Yeah, host has disabled participation, participant screen sharing. Oh. All right. I don't know how to, oh, I'll have to change that. Um, I don't, it's probably when I set it up. So let me see. Let me go to flip give then. Um, I'll share it. All this technology, we're learning, we're learning. <laughs> okay, so. You want to log in as me? Yeah, because I, mine's. You on, have your own. I, and I don't know what my login name is. Oh yeah, I've got one for Amy's dance. Oh, so that's for Amy's dance, but we don't want to log in and see her dance stuff. What, what's your. Well, you can, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, log in. It doesn't in. matter? Just, yeah, it, it, it'll work the same way. It'll just show them how it, how it works. Okay. Um, okay. So um, up at the top where it says Amy's dance, actually, if you click the drop down arrow, you should be able to. Oh, so I can join an existing team. Yep. So that's what you would do. You would create an account and say, join an existing team. Oh, and let me get you the team code. Okay. I have. Um, That's not where I need to go. That is our team. Isn't this cool? Everybody gets step by step how to go on and, and do things to support the center. <laughs> We're full service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're full service. I just sure have to figure out how to do it. How to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Uh, how's I, how do I do it? I know. Probably. I'm on our code, so how do I get our code? Did you text it or email it to me? Why do I have 13? Oh my lord. Um, I wonder if it's in my e no, it shouldn't be. Oh goodness. We're sorry, everybody. Bear with us. We're looking for the code so we can show you how to work this. <laughs> I know. Let's figure out how to well, work it so we can teach you how to work it. I just have to go look for it real quick. Uh, let me check the e I don't even have my emails open. I can't. Let me open up my emails quick. Sorry, guys. Bear with us. As I'm not sorry, the rubbing of my face was not for flip give. It's when you open your email and you find <sighs> emails of from your son's teacher. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Empathize with um, you. you know that. Mm, um, yeah, I don't know why. I, I'm looking. I know you. You let me know you have flip give, and I don't remember how. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, okay, so let's pretend. We, all right, well. Wait, okay, now I need to get back. I wish it would let you just type in the team name. Oh, let's find my code. Let's try that. Joining from an email. Nope. Flip give app. Yeah. Oh, fine. So letting you like find one. You know, it doesn't. Oh, find or create a team. Yeah, that's a screenshot. Like they're just showing. Oh. And six. Oh, wait a minute. Six character. Oh, from the team invite. Code okay. from the team invite. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I guess. No, so that really excited. didn't help. But yeah. Uh, and my internet must be struggling because I typed in flip give and it's just spinning. So maybe we'll do flip give on um, Monday. Yeah, we can talk about it more on Monday. But the we'll give you step by we'll show you step by step on Monday how to do it. We'll we'll, we'll iron out all the wrinkles over the weekend. But basically, yeah. what flip give is is it's um, a program you go in and you still shop online or you can. Go to uh, favorite restaurants, 
Yeah, or just order gift cards as gifts. Yeah. And it automatically give without you paying extra, um, it gives the center money. So for instance, um, in my house, we needed to buy shorts for summer. Um, Ooh. and I so what I did was I double I double dipped. Um I what it was was there was a 10% um, on gift cards and 10% off of the retailer store. So I had my daughter shop for what she needed. I got a total. Um, and then I said, so I had her do it on a computer. I That way I had my phone free and I had downloaded the FlipGive app. And so I know some people may be like, no, I'm not willing to do all that, but um, I, it's not a big deal for me. So she put her purchase in on the computer. I got a total. I went on my flip give app. I purchased a gift certificate for the amount of money I needed for her product and then paid for her purchase with the gift certificate. So I spent no extra money and, but I got double the rewards. So it was a $75 order. So I got 750 back from the gift certificate. And then I got another 750 back from purchasing um, her order online. So I just made the center 15 bucks yep. in one transaction. Like, you know, that's a bus pass yep. that I just bought us. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was really something very easy. Um, but as you can see, like it'll say 2% back on gift cards. Some of yep. them will say, you know, 4% online, 1% back on gift cards. So well, sometimes depending on what I need, um, I, you know, I never buy something I don't need because um, that's just not financially smart. Um, but, you know, depending on what I need, if I um, can figure out what I'm gonna buy, I will go ahead and buy the gift card in the amount I need. Um, we did this as well. The, um, if you're making a major purchase at Home Depot, mm -hmm. we did the same. Um, we needed to purchase ours in store. Um, so we did the same thing, except what we did is right in the store, we had them give us the price. And then I went online and purchased the gift cards for our new washer and dryer that we needed a couple of years ago. Yeah. And then I just paid for it in gift cards. I do that all the time in the restaurants and it drives, <laughs> it drives my family crazy because I'll sit there and after we order, like, so while we're waiting for our food to come and everything, I'll figure out, okay, so that item was that much, this was that much. So our order should be around, and it's a family of four, you know, 50 to $75. And I'll go online right then and order um, either through FlipGive or there, there's also a program called Script Cards. <clears throat> and we can, um, I'll order it there, get an E gift certificate. So when we go to pay our bill, I just hand the server my phone, if, if you're comfortable with that, and they just take it, scan in the barcode, and it comes, it pays for our dinner right then and there. Yep. And then you get the kickbacks. It's wonderful. And then you get the kickbacks. Yeah. Yep. So um, it's perfect. So I love that we have a FlipGive account now. Um, and FlipGive is definitely much more all online. It's much more electronic versions. Um, script cards, you can still get, though it takes some time, actual gift cards. So, mm -hmm. but I love the FlipGive program. Yeah, but, yep. But you have to use it, you have to be consistent. And unfortunately, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to scroll in. Um, I'm not always too consistent, but I just, I pulled this up so people, you know. Yeah, I forget to tune in it. on Monday. They'll see how much locally here in Bristol, what local retailers use it. Starbucks, Buffalo Wild Ones, Burger King, GNC, GameStop, the gas stations. You only, yeah, stations are kind I, of tough because you only get 1%, but. Yeah, but you know what? I, I forget about a lot of places like that. So it, it's good to know. Yeah, TJ Maxx, they're open again, people. 
Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. TJ Maxx are good at home goods. Panera. This is our this is our big go to. Usually is ninety nine. We'll have to tell Tim. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Father's Day. We had Mother's Day. Father's Day is coming up. If but unfortunately, none of the spots are open. To go to the open. spa. Oh, wait a minute, though. They're not open. They can't open yet. I just want some little bit of normalcy again. Um, but you can. I hop. I was gonna say I hop though. I do like their pancakes. <laughs> My family doesn't Petco. like blueberry pancakes, so I like to go there and do blueberry pancakes. Yeah, pack up. Petco, if you have pets, I don't know. Now, when it says in store, I'm not sure how that works. That's the only thing I've never figured out. Um, well, because it's Burger King, they don't do online. I don't know how you would get, yeah, in store, it's 2%. Huh. Yeah. I don't, like when it says that, I don't understand what that means. I wonder if when you go there with your, I, would, I don't know. I don't know. Because it only shows you gift cards that I haven't figured out yet. That's yeah. the only thing I kind of haven't figured out. Yeah, let's try Buffalo Wild Wings. What does it bring up? Yeah, it's only, uh, well, that's. Yeah, but 6.5% is huge. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. Bless it. Sure, thank you. Oh, so, but we can. We'll fill everyone in a little bit more on Monday about flip. Yeah, once we, I uh, once I figure out our code, <laughs> <laughs> I will find the flip give code. No. Um, and then hopefully next week, our we've ordered some squad locker gear, so we'll have that to show you guys. Um, on the video, we'll uh, yep. we'll be able to show some of it um we'll, we'll model our our yes our hats um yeah i guess it really you know it's it's dare i say it's been a busy week but it's been kind of quiet too yeah i was gonna say i feel like quiet from the perspective that nothing new came out yeah um, but yeah. extremely busy with people needing support and help. I feel like we yeah. got a lot of new phone calls this week um, from people just needing some support, um, which I think it's, I think it's great that we're getting new phone calls. It means people are hearing about us, learning about us. Um, oh, we, yesterday, um, we recognized a total of 16. Um, oh. Well, we put together bags for 16 Bristol recruits from Eastern and Central. Um, they are picking up their recognition bags today when they get their cap and gowns from their respective schools. Um, so we are, we are very proud of them. Um, you know, again, you know, not, still not the way we would have loved to honor them by being able to hold the salute dinner for them this year, but we are still just as proud of the decision that you're making um, to join our armed forces. Um, we need your pictures, please, please, please. Um, if you are a new recruit and you see this, or you are the parent of a new recruit, please send us their picture so we can include them on our virtual salute um, that will be going up. I know I said I was going to work on it last weekend and that didn't happen. I'm, I can't wait for academic classes to be over for both children because then- Me too. I'm hoping I can work on it this weekend. I think with the iffy weather, I might actually be forced to because I won't be able to go out and do any yard work or anything. So, um, did we email? We had a couple of recruits on our list that gave us their email addresses. We already emailed them. Okay. I have, and I haven't heard from any of them. They're teenagers. That doesn't. I know. <laughs> So that's why I'm making They're not big email people. Bags. <laughs> I'm making up more bags today and I'm hoping um, I'm going to take my bright yellow post-it notes and put, please send us your picture today. Did it? 
Um, oh, is that in your letter? letter? Okay. Yeah. On my letter. Um, so yeah, so we're, they're being recognized today. So we're, we're excited about that. Um, not sure on the exact dates that our other, um, our other recruits um, are being recognized. Not sure right. when Terry, but you know, we have, I know we have bags that are going out to so Wolk we'll at Terryville, um, Lewis Mills. I'm not sure when they're going to receive their bags, but we, uh, know. we know that Bristol bags were being handed out today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the rain. Um, <laughs> that was on my list. That was good. Um, oh, that's good. Oh, stop. I'm moving my mouse and it was messing with my windows. <laughs> no, then, other than that, I mean, still, we still have 40 something tickets to sell. Come on. Oh, no, we're under that. We're under that. We're under 40. We're at 40, and we sold like four this week. So. Oh, okay. All right. We're under that. We haven't looked at um, it because we've been so busy doing other stuff. I know. We really haven't had a chance to, but we're, uh, but you well, know. I'll, I'll put it out again over the weekend on on all the town pages and everything, but we really would like to pull this number for Father's Day. Yes, so if you've got friends who haven't bought a ticket, call them out. Call them out. Um, you know, say, hey, so-and-so, where's your name on this list? Yeah, oh. come on. Hey, let me, let me see where we are oops you looking quick yeah let me let me let me go peruse our list and see what i'm looking for a good on. quote because oh, what are i'm just looking for my home? computer to actually work that would be peachy keen today because it doesn't want to there we go all right so veteran strong let's see what you got going on Do, 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 do. I got a, a quick, a cute oh, here we go. quote for Father's Day weekend. So I, I saw it uh, during one of my insomnia moments <laughs> last night. Oh, so. <laughs> but in it's the top, for Father's Day. Earmarked for Father's Day. So in our top 50 numbers, we have 16. 21 you know you would think someone would purchase it like hey i'm 16 i'm 21 like those are or those were great years yeah i was gonna say those are like blackjack <laughs> numbers too aren't they um 37 38 39 42 43 44 46 and 47 and then one through 50 are sold out we need to sell one through a hundred people. Come on. I know, but like, I'm going to focus on getting one through 50. So. <laughs> 16, but we'll 21. get them sold. And as soon as we get them sold, we'll do the, um, the drawing. 38. Oh, someone's going to want these numbers. Whose lucky numbers are these? <laughs> There's really not much going on this weekend. You know, it's keeping the status quo. Um, as you, everyone could tell, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I'm in the center today. Uh, I came in to work on those bags for our partners with Bristol Veterans Council. So we'll get those out to all the new recruits. Um, and we'll be back here on Monday afternoon, one o'clock. One o'clock. We'll teach you how to use flip give. <laughs> Or give a flip, whichever you prefer. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we can't teach you how to no. do that. Not, so that's not, I, I that's not proper. <laughs> My daughter um, bought a clear cell phone case. I'm just giving everybody this little anecdote quickly because, you know, what's a show without talking about our kids? A show. See, what's an outreach session without talking about our kids? So she has a clear cell phone cover now and what she did was find she found all these pictures and quotes and cute things online all these images and printed them out and then she can change them as often as she wants 
Oh, because they're on, on the inside and then she it's just puts the case on? Yeah, she takes oh, okay. the case off, I was, puts the picture I saw down. It, but I wasn't sure how she did it. Yeah, that's how she did it. <laughs> so we're at um, the eighth grade graduation at a Hello Catholic middle school this week. And um, she goes, I got to keep my phone in your purse because she had a not so appropriate image on speaking of flipping on her cell phone case and I it didn't register with me that that's the image that was on her cell phone case I'm like yeah keep that in my purse thank you but it was just the, so she can change it based on her feelings for the day and that's how she was feeling on Wednesday I guess I don't know oh uh, you're like seriously guys I'm like, oh my gosh. So yes, before we go, I want to give a, sh well, let's give a shout out to all the graduates that are graduating this week. Our college graduates, most of them have done some type of virtual. Um, close to my heart this week were St. Paul's High School in Bristol, St. Joe's School in Bristol. Um, I know the rest of the high schools are going to be doing some type of something for the students. Southington, we're not doing anything till August. Well, he announced they could do something after July or in July. So maybe they'll push it up. They, nope, they voted for August. Okay. So all our military kids are gonna miss it, but that's what <sighs> the student body voted. Okay. So, and you and you cannot please everybody. Nope, no, you can't. So. I, we, you've got a very large student body in Southington too. Oh my god! Well, and and here's the thing: they they could have broke it up if they wanted to. Like I, I really think there are ways around it. But the kids voted for what they wanted, and okay. this is you know like I always I always did in my classroom. Listen, majority rules under discussion. Yeah. So, but um, our quote of the day. There's it. It says it's a funny quote of the day, but I think. You have to hear it all. It's really not funny. It's very timely. And I think it makes a point with everything going on in the world. So, so it probably was funny if we didn't live in where we live right if now. If everything wasn't going on um, as far as the protests and riots and things, yeah, it would be funny. But it makes you think. Prejudice is a great time saver. You can form opinions without having to get the facts. Not really funny, but thought provoking. It is, you're right. So if we weren't dealing with what we were dealing with, you'd be like, you'd kind of chuckle at it. But yeah. yes, but consider, all things considering, yeah. and since your calendar had no idea to know what would be going on right now, well, and this is because I'm in the center. I actually had taken the calendar home with me and didn't bring it um, back oh. in the morning. So I'm just on uh, Brainy BrainyQuotes.com. And oh. that was one of the quotes for today. Okay. And that is from E.B. White, who is an author. Author. E.B. White wrote Charlotte's Web, I believe. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I've seen it, but I know it's a, he's an author. So yes, prejudice is a great time saver. You can form opinions without having to get the facts. Yep. And with that, with all the protests going on this weekend and gatherings, everyone, please be safe, um, stay healthy, and we'll see you on Monday afternoon, one o'clock. Sounds good. All right, we'll talk to everybody later. Bye.